hepatitis C in particular is a very significant health problem. And the major uh, concern right now is in the baby boomer population. And, and the baby boomer population are those people born between 1945 and 1965. And in that group of, of, of people, that's where about 70% of the hepatitis C infection is. And in that group, about 5% of those are infected. And this is significant because that's a group of people that are at risk for developing uh, liver failure, uh, liver cancer, and death from liver disease, of which hepatitis C is a leading cause of all three in this country. I think the best advice right now is to get, get tested because in the past some of the treatments were a little less effective and there were some problems with tolerability. The uh, success rate of treatments is in the 80 to 100 percent range and we think by the end of the year it's going to be in the 90 to 100 percent range. Um, and we are now eliminating interferon, uh, which has been one of the most problematic parts of the treatment. And now we think that most people we're going to be able to treat with just pills, which are very well tolerated. So uh, tell me, did you think that you would see this kind of cure rate in your lifetime? I, I think that this, is, this has been truly revolutionary. Um, when I started uh, treating patients, it was 48 weeks with three to five injections per week with about a 10% uh, cure rate and a lot of side effects. So I, like uh, many of my colleagues, or all of my colleagues in this field, are very, ex very, very excited about what's going on right now. And the treatments we have right now are, are outstanding, and we're expecting even better treatments coming. So getting, getting tested, diagnosed, uh, leads to treatment and, and cure and prevention of all the problems that can be related if this goes on untested. And the biggest concern I have is many people don't know they have this disease. It's asymptomatic until essentially you get significant liver disease or liver cancer, and by then it's much more difficult to take care of. So for someone who gets that diagnosis of hep C today, um, far different story than it was even just a year ago. It, completely different than a year ago or, or two years ago. This, this is this is a this is a different time. And and when I when I mention treatment and cure, I'm not talking about control. I'm not talking about um, slowing things down. We're talking about cure. And this virus will uh, you'll be rid of the virus for the rest of your life as long as you don't go as long as there are no more exposures to the virus. This is a curable virus. Mm -hmm.